very I think it's already happening. Um, what you're ha what's happening is in some newspapers, they adopt bloggers. So, um, let's say that I think the next generation of op and columnists after me and Pat Bautista, for example, would have been people who got discovered online. Uh, because that's what's being done. It also provides something uh, tied to is what Mr. Garcia pointed out, which is the problem a columnist always had was if I want to back my opinion with facts, I used to have my space. It's a problem. It's a practical problem of space. Because of links and the way the internet is used, there is now no reason to not support your arguments with some sort of fact, source document, or further reading, something like that. What I think you're going to find is, just as our whole idea of how a newspaper comes out is changing, which is, the newspaper used to be something that comes out in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, once a day, and that's it. Now, in a sense, as the newspaper is being created, it is already being reported. Because um, if it, that doesn't happen, it's too late by the time it comes out the next day. It's already irrelevant. So what you're going to see is, just as newspapers are going back to their built-in advantage, which is depth, a newspaper can always take more time and more space to analyze uh, point out and clarify an issue that is ever possible on TV. Um, you will find that the bloggers will, in a sense, be not only the new object, but the finishing ground for, for journalists. It's a place where you can potentially explore ideas undertake investigations, conduct verifications, before formally committing to the, to the story. Uh, and I think that's very exciting in that sense. Thank you so much.